<laughs> I like it. Uh, it's going to be nicer. It's going to be warmer. And by the way, it's good to see you, Megan. It's been a little while. Let's take you out to the coastline, show you what we've been dealing with. And obviously today at the coast, the big story has been this cloud cover. It did clear for a little while, and now it's kind of just lingering around the coastline. The thing is, we're going to have a pretty dramatic turnaround quickly here in this forecast, thanks to some offshore winds. I think the issue tonight may be the winds across Santa Barbara County. No advisory yet for sundowners, but I do think some 35 to 40 mile per hour gusts are possible, especially on the western edge of the south coast. So that would be Goleta out to the western edge and definitely the Gaviota Pass would be one of the places I'd be concerned about. There you can see temperatures in the 50s to about 60 and the winds are out of the northwest as strong as 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now, daytime highs today, they were kind of all over the board. Santa Maria, San Luis Obispo, much cooler than average with temperatures in the upper 50s. We can get upper 60s as a regular order here many days. Now, past Robles 66, Santa Barbara 66, 65, Goleta, those are garden variety temperatures in Cuyama 67, Morro Bay 56, Atascadero 65. More B on KSBY pictures, Cecil Horton up in North County, kind of looking south there, and you can see the cloud cover hanging in at the coast. But up in North County, cleared out nicely this afternoon. Tom Smith's beautiful view of some of the bloom going on out there. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm TV Dave Hubdi on Facebook. And today, a lot of really fun chat things. Uh, what do you need to get by at home these days? And other things to just kind of weigh in and have a community conversation. So head over there and check that out. Satellite radar composite, pretty quiet. In fact, if we come out and look at the whole region, you can see not much going on. Now, if we do slide off to the east, you'll see there's snow in North Texas and Colorado and in places like New Mexico. Sliding over to the East Coast, severe weather struck very hard last night and early today, but that line of storms has moved off the coastline. So what are we gonna see here? Offshore flow into tomorrow. Note that we have very clear skies. It'll be morning offshore flow, afternoon onshore flow the next couple of days. The biggest change is later this week, Thursday, Friday, some marine cloud cover gets back in the forecast. National forecast looks like this. 50 in New York City, partly cloudy. 44, my forecast for Chicago. Just 34 in Minneapolis, 37 in Bismarck, 43 Denver. Across the West, you're 64 in Seattle, 79 in the capital, 71 in San Diego, 53 in Salt Lake City. And closer to home, look at those numbers. Mid-70s to nearly 80 degrees already tomorrow. Again, keep in mind, Morro Bay never made it to 60 today. So what a turnaround. Santanez, Solvang, mid-70s. Cuyama, low 70s. Five cities, low to mid-70s. North Coast, 66, Cayucas, Morro Bay. 75, Atascadero. Extended forecast, again, cloud cover creeping in Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There is a little system coming in. I'll talk about that at 6 o'clock. Right now, I'm not going with rain. I'll explain why tonight at six. We'll see you then, Megan. All right, thanks, Dave. Feeling a lot like summer. I could use some of that summer, good All summer right. vibe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look